fire signs aries leo sagittarius <laughs> i'm here for your seven day prediction uh, it took me a while guys i did have an emergency going on um that involved the fire sign but thank god everything is um okay so what you see in front of you fire signs is the energy of the fire signs for the next seven days you got hungry and sleepy you guys be careful about your food choices i don't know why you guys are so hungry i don't know if you're pregnant or or what's going on here you just got a big appetite here but you see choose wisely because this this kid chooses it looks like a big mac over that over that apple i don't even think they really want that apple i mean it's there so some of you may have to make better choices when it comes to your eating this week here because i don't know you might just go with the the burger you might just go with them unhealthy choice like maybe some of you are coming off of a diet you are um kind of breaking your diet a little bit this week because it's something that you really, really want. Maybe you do have a taste for a burger. Look at that. <laughs> and then some of you are tired. So be careful about eating, overeating, and then falling asleep. You know, some of you could be bored because you know, maybe you don't have a whole lot to do. And so you're just eating a lot, eating and sleeping. All right, so that's the energy. Um, the next seven days, uh, fire signs, you guys are going to be <laughs> hungry and sleepy. That sounds like a pregnant person to me. <laughs> uh, but let's take a look. It could be other reasons why um, you guys are like that. Maybe you're on a vacation or something. I mean, this is the end of school where I am. So some of you could just be feeling a little lazy. Maybe you're taking, you're just eating out this week. You don't feel like cooking. But I tell you what. Don't waste your money on no vegetables, if no fruit, if you're not gonna eat it. Cause I don't think this, I don't think this child gonna eat this apple. That's all I'm saying. Or this could be one of your kids. Like you're trying to get them to eat more fruit, put more fruit into their diet, and they just want McDonald's. And that sounds like what a kid wants. <laughs> Let's take a look here, five signs at your um, mystical healing messages here for the week. You have relinquished control. So there's something that you're having to let go of. She's having to cut cords with the, you know, whatever this is. It's like somebody here on a string that's going up. Somebody's having to cut the cord. So let's take a look and see what this is all about here. The number 27 could mean something here. Someone could be 27, have a 27 year old or something. Maybe um, someone's birthday is on the 27 of something here. Let's see. What do we have? 63. All right. It says, let go of controlling behavior. Instead of empowering you, control can turn you into an aggressive presence when the people you are trying to influence does not adhere to your wishes. Whenever you find yourself trying to control others, become conscious of what is really driving this compulsion. Do you feel afraid, unsafe, or vulnerable? What if you could experience those feelings without trying to dominate your environment? What are you holding on to? When you let go and begin to trust life, you open the door to a multitude of opportunities that you could not have fathomed. You also allow your loved ones to breathe out and be themselves instead of feeling like they constantly have to appease you. It's okay if you make mistakes. Perfectionism hardens you and disconnects you from the heart. Control can also negatively impact your brain, skin, digestive system, and reproductive system. So this week, fire signs, you or someone needs to relinquish control. Maybe, you know, someone sees you as coming off too aggressive. Maybe you see someone this way, like you're trying to offer advice to someone and they're they're very um, headstrong. They don't want to listen. Maybe this is what, you know, maybe the doctor or someone is telling you fire signs to choose that apple over that burger. And maybe you just don't want to cut cords with what it is that you really want. But I feel like, you know, you're being told, you know, to think about it. What is it that you're really holding on to? And why are you not wanting to let go of this? What's going on with that? Maybe you, you know, just don't want someone telling you what to do and you feel like you can do it yourself. The people around you could just be, you know, there to help. So don't be so defensive and 
upset and wanting everything your way. This message is for the fire signs or cross watcher. So, you know, I'm not coming down on you. I'm only reading what came out here. But they wanted to, you to evaluate what makes you be like this. Why do you feel unsafe with, you know, um, unless you're in control? That's basically what it's saying. You feel unsafe unless you're in control of a situation. What's making you feel that way? What makes you feel like you have to dominate every environment in order for you to be comfortable? And you got to think about that. It's kind of like a bit selfish because you dominating every situation, it, it only benefits you, which means that the people around you are having to take a back seat to whatever fire sign wants. Maybe you're dealing with someone like this. You could be a cross watcher dealing with someone who feels that they need to dominate. Maybe they're afraid of making a mistake or they don't like to admit when they're wrong. So they try to dominate a situation um, to avoid, you know, having to really deal with, like deal with any um, failures. Maybe like they don't trust people or you don't trust people to do things for you something going on here with that but you're being told to relinquish control all right so let's take a look here um fire signs we're going to take a look and see what is it that you're being asked to surrender over the next seven days as well you have surrender yeah see surrender to receiving support and love you're having a hard time of letting other people step in and help you because you like to be in control or you're used to being in control. You could be hyper uh, hyper independent where you don't trust anyone else doing something for you because you feel like they're not going to do it right. But it says allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously, simultaneously nurture you. So fire signs, some of you are having an issue with allowing other people to be there for you and to help you. You know? And, you know, they could be trying to support you and just, you know, have your back. And you're pushing people away because you want to be in control so bad. Like, it, And you're saying some of you are like, you can't help it. You've always had to do it yourself. You've, you've had no one else to depend on. But I feel like, you know, God is now sending you support and love and help. And it's up to you to receive that help. You know, maybe you need to rest. Maybe you're tired and people are stepping in to help you because they see that you're tired. Maybe you need to eat better and people are trying to help, you know, cook for you or bring you things that are better for you. You know, allow the support in here, fire signs. It's like, I feel like secretly you want the support. You want people to be there for you. But when they come, you might be pushing them away by being too dominating. Tell me what else here for a fire sign for the next seven days. cards surrender to what is and surrender to spirit here okay they want you to flow with what is instead of fighting it when you can't change a situation compassionately accepting it exactly as it is is going to bring you peace so this week here is it's about you allowing things to be what it is surrendering to what's going on at the moment not trying to force um, anything to change I feel like a lot of you need to find some time to just breathe and relax and release some things that maybe you've been holding on to because I feel like you're getting support. It's like God is sending you support to help you through a situation and maybe you can't change it right now. So there's no point of trying to fight against it. Just allow it to be what it is and work your way through something. They want you to surrender to spirit. Um, it says once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. So it's about you allowing God to step in and do something for you that you can't do for yourself. And he's sending you reinforcement. He's sending you support and love to guide you and to help you. It's up to you to accept it or, or fight against it. And some fire signs have been fighting against um, the support that they're, they're getting. Okay. 
So these are your healing messages here, fire signs. Um, I, you know, I really, for some of you, this is a cross watcher, you know, reading, you know, you're, you're dealing with this, you're dealing with the fire sign and it may be difficult for you to, to, um, help this person be there for this person because maybe they're just headstrong and they're making choices, you know, that are not the best for them, but maybe they don't want, maybe it's hard for them to change something like that. All right, so fire signs. Um, let's take a look and see what's your energy coming into this reading, into these next seven days. What's the energy of the fire signs? Look at this, seven of wands and the empress. That's your energy. You're in the seven of wands. You're defiant. You're like feeling like you got to stand your ground. And then there's an empress energy here. She looks pissed. So there could be like... A fire sign like being defensive towards an empress. An empress is pissed here. She's like, you know what? I am so sick and tired of talking to you. And right here, when I see this car, it looks like somebody is in like a nurse's uniform carrying a chart. So I don't know if somebody's being defensive or defiant towards the doctors or something like that. I wish you, I hope you got, I'm going to put it up there so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. It looks like a patient fighting with a doctor or a nurse and this nurse could be this empress this empress could be a, a spiritual healer or someone yeah someone who is only trying to help someone make better choices and it's like somebody is very defensive here towards this empress why though what what what's the problem some of you fire signs or I don't know. You either dealing with a fire sign or you are a fire sign. Someone's trying to offer someone some support. Okay, yeah, somebody here is very aggressive here. The Knight of Swords. Someone could have fire, air in their chart. Yeah, Six of Swords. It's making someone, like, get on. This Empress here, that's the Empress in the boat that's moving and forward. Like, you know what? Okay, if you don't want to heal, I'm just going to... I'm just going to move it along. So this is what's, what's going on in the next seven days, fire sign. There is like someone here who's very aggressive, very defiant. They don't want to listen to advice. You know, someone here, empress, this could be a mother figure. Or this is someone who's like a healer. They, they're, they're like, okay, you don't want to listen. You want to sit here and be, a, you know, always have a damn opinion, always trying to assert yourself. I'm just going to go ahead on to my calm, peaceful, late state. Yeah, nine of nine of wands. This is there could be a fire sign that's that's sick or something. Nine of wands. This person is in bed with the thermometer and they're still being defiant here. Wow. Somebody's pushing through something though. So there's communication. You know, there's rapid change that's that's coming in. So I feel like um oh there's a will of fortune. All these cards hit the floor. I hear you God. I hear you. I hear you, God. Hmm. So, let's keep going. All right. So, I feel like a situation, this is a cycle. You know, the wheel of fortune is turning a situation. Let's see where it's going. Because I see someone drained. All I'm getting here with the fire sign energy that is like, okay, defiance, standing your ground. Then you're drained and you're trying to push through and be resilient. And then there's their communication. So what is this communication that's either coming from a fire sign or going to a fire sign? What's this eight of wands? Something is changing. Three of wands. Okay, so somebody may be wanting to go move forward, go in a different direction. Is this someone looking to change their behavior or what is this? Someone may be receiving communication or a message that someone else is like moving into a different direction. The hangman, Pisces energy, someone surrendering or someone's uncertain about something. Maybe someone's starting to see something differently. I mean, like I said, I'm hoping fire signs, if this is you and people are trying to help you, because this is what I'm getting. It's like you are too aggressive and, and you're pushing people away this week, okay? So it's time to move away from that energy and allow people to help you. Allow people, yeah, because this person is sick in bed with a thermometer in their mouth. And they are, and they're defiant towards the people that are actually trying to 
help them. So someone may give up and be like, you know what? I'm I'm going I'm gonna go do something for me. Three of Wands. She done grabs the hockey sticks or whatever. So someone may be like, you know what? You don't want to listen. I'm just gonna go focus on me and do something that makes me happy. And you just sit there if and and be stuck. Yeah, that's what this is giving me. Wow, fire signs. Okay. So this is the energy of the fire signs or cross watchers coming into this week. Let's take a look here and see um what's the situation here. What's the situation in the next seven days here for the fire signs? Turn up my um war music because she's seems like you guys are defensive, pretending. See, somebody is pretending. Either they're living beyond their means. You know, being fake about how they really feel. And we'll see what that's all about. But I feel like someone is pretending that they don't care or pretending. Yeah, see, this is a roller coaster. Highest high adrenaline rush. Oh, boy. So this could be somebody who could be going through like an emotional roller coaster when they really trying to, but they're trying to make it seem like everything's okay. Yeah, tragedy, forbidden love. This is like some somebody here um, getting to the point where they're like, you know what? This is just never going to come together. It's an emotional roller coaster. But I'm feeling like someone is pretending that they don't care. And they do. Let's take a look here. What's going on for the fire signs in the next seven days? Commitment. Yeah. This is a long-term relationship that's coming together. It's a roller coaster. Someone could be pretending to sell. They don't care, but they don't want to lose somebody is what I'm getting. And I'm going to clarify that. It's, it's a long-term commitment. Someone could be getting ready to get married. And all. Oh, yep. Look. Ghosted. Blocked. Cut off. Somebody's getting cut off, though. Someone's getting blocked, cut off, or ghosted. Either someone who's in a commitment with someone or someone's being, being ghosted because they're going into a commitment with someone. We're going to see what that's all about. Yeah, toxic, unhealthy. Somebody's living a fake life here. Unhe unhealthy behaviors. They could be dealing with fake people or they could be pretending. Somebody's pretending something. There's this apple again. There's this apple. So something's about apples. I don't know why I'm thinking about Adam and Eve here. But something is poisonous, toxic, unhealthy. So maybe someone doesn't choose the apple because they know that it's poisonous. I mean, I would eat the burger. At least I know that 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 um that is. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Something going on. There's there's an apple here. This apple signifies poison. Somebody, you know, if somebody bites this apple. This poisonous apple, they're going to lose everything. So someone is juggling between, do I, I mean, it looks good. And normally, you know, I would say that this is a good choice, but I know that this, this is poisonous. This is going to lead me somewhere that I don't want to go. So even though this is a little bit unhealthy over here, it doesn't have poison. You know, it's not, you know what I'm saying? So this is like someone having a choice, but it's it. Why is it giving me plot twist? I'm gonna hold on to this. It's giving me a plot twist for some reason. Let's keep going, fire signs. What's going on with you guys in the next seven days? Someone doesn't choose the apple here, even though it. Hmm, irreconcilable differences. There's a there's a final ending here. But then there's a commitment out here as well. So I'm I'm wondering. There could be someone going through a divorce, someone just choosing to end something altogether, releasing, you know, releasing a commitment. Something's running out of time. Deadline time is running out. So time is running out when it comes to um some type of commitment. Something may be coming to an end. Something may be coming to an end. 
Yep, extreme harsh cut off. Something's being cut off. Somebody's being cut off. But it makes me feel like the person who may have, if it's a person being cut off, this person, and I'm just going to, they may look like the better option, but there's something toxic about this person. So let's say people could say, you know what, fire signs, you need to be with this person. They're X, they're Y, they're Z. This, this right here doesn't look good for you. This doesn't seem like a better situation for you. But you know that it's poison when it comes to that. Yeah, it looks good, but I know what's really going on with this. So I'm getting a situation like that for you fire signs. And maybe you're just tired of, of having to explain this to people. Maybe you're getting offended and becoming defiant because you're tired of people trying to choose for you certain things that you know. Okay, so something could be being looked up online. All right, so we got on the verge. There's an offer being made here, though. Somebody's removing negativity from their life, and it's affecting people's emotions here. Like, people may be getting emotional because they're being removed here. It could have a lot to do with lust and sexual chemistry. Hmm. This tragedy for in love is attached to this poison apple. Something is just not gonna, it's not good. It's not a good choice. And I feel like somebody's cutting off someone here who either they have been with or married to or in some type of commitment where they're realizing that they're, they're different, it's not working. And somebody here is making an offer, proposal, commitment somewhere else and they're cutting off everything else. They're removing this negativity. They're clearing their space. Wow, fire signs. Let's um let's clarify. Who's this pretending? Judgment. Somebody's awakening to the truth about something. Someone has had to wait and look at this man. I'm not going crazy. I know that this is a heart inside of this scale but when I looked at it I saw an apple and I have no idea why I'm seeing apples today but apples it's like someone is making a, a, a head over heart decision okay maybe that's what it is something could have to do with the heart that's a heart inside on a scale here someone is um, under judgment someone could be calling judgment on a situation um, or this is someone having to evaluate their life like judgment there's a coffin here and someone here is like awakening to the truth about their life maybe there have been things that they are they were pretending was okay or there's somebody else around them who they're realizing was pretending not real somebody is um making a final judgment concerning something and it could be very emotional for this person you know but I feel like they're making a better choice. Let's see. What's this forbidden love? Ace of Wands. Somebody's going towards a, a new passionate beginning. They're going in a new direction. They found some inspiration in something else here. And they're releasing some, someone or something. What's this? Strength card. Yep. Somebody just overcome some is overcoming something. And they're getting the courage to like take their power back. All right, what's this commitment? Who's going into a commitment? And that Ace of Wands, that is your energy fire signs. The Nine of Coins, somebody here who's single, self-sufficient. Like I said earlier, some of you fire signs, you're hyper-independent. But I feel like you're getting ready to go into a commitment. You're getting ready to go into a commitment here, Okay with someone so i feel like you're gonna have to really work on that there's an offer coming in clarify this nine of coins someone could be an earth sign someone could be a leo aries another fire sign energy here libra um what's this nine of coins somebody is definitely single and about to queen of swords Someone here is about to go into a connection. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini involved. Someone is single. 
a very intelligent, very honest person, makes head over heart decisions. This is someone who has healthy boundaries in their life. They don't have to be these signs, but there is someone who is very intelligent and they, they practice healthy boundaries. This is someone who's been single enough, long enough to know what they, who they are and what they need in their, in their life here. Okay, and this person will ghost block and cut people off to maintain their peace. It is what I'm getting. Who is this with these irreconcilable differences? Because I don't know, there's a commitment, but then there's like a divorce. So I don't know if, you know, something changes here or this, something's being stopped. That's the Knight of Coins. Something is a, at a stalemate, at a standstill here with someone. So I don't know if the tower just flipped out in reverse. Someone had a fear of change here. Will of fortune in reverse. Somebody could be facing some setbacks here. With, and that's on top of TikTok. Deadline. Time is running out. So time is running out for a situation here. So I feel like there's an ending here. There's an ending here with... Um, looks like a past connection. Who is this with these... With this divorce final, what's that about? Death card, yep, there's an ending here. Two people are not on the same page. Someone is cutting someone off. Is this a past lover? Someone's cutting people off here. Five of Wands with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is uh, conflict, competition. Somebody is pushing people away. This person here with this bat is, is like getting rid of the competition, getting rid of all these people, five of wands. They could be having to get rid of at least four to five people here. This knight of wands. This is your energy, uh, fire signs. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's like you're you're um standing your ground. So there could be fights over an ending, fights surrounded surrounding a divorce or something here. Somebody here is um Offering someone commitment. Who's being offered a proposal of commitment? What's this? Four coins in reverse. Somebody here could be making a large purchase. Letting go of the old. Yeah, some whoever this is that's about to make this offer or receive this offer or something like that, they're letting go of the old. They're letting, yeah, they could be about to purchase something big. This person, um, two of coins, they're finding some type of balance. They're focused on their priorities. Yeah, whoever this is that's about to receive this offer or somebody, whoever's about to give this offer, somebody here is releasing things from the past. They're no longer holding on to anything. Seven of cups, you know what? They're like focusing on the, the many options. So somebody here is like... Um, Taking note of all these other op these options out here. They're releasing. I don't know why the Seven of Cups fell in my lap like that. But what's this? Two of Cups. Yep. Somebody here um, is choosing a, a union. Two of Cups. Uh, they, have, they may have options. But somebody's like fighting them off. I don't know what that's all about. All right. Fire signs. I think I've gone too, so long with your reading. But it's so interesting. And I know I made you guys wait. What's the message of love here for fire signs? It looks like this when you guys are cutting people off, um, but be careful about not accepting help from others. Yeah, you're healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So you're healing um, this week. You're focusing on what's important for you. You're weighing your, the pros and cons of you know the decisions, the choices for some reason here on uh, Fire Signs this week. Some, there's judgment. You're evaluating things around you. You're asking yourself, do situations align with your values and morals? Know that you are safe and divinely guided here this week, fire signs. You're detaching from situations to clearly see it for what it is. You've got this new love here or a recommitment to love. And you're realizing that you and someone else are on different pages. You don't share the same vision. Or someone seeing that. So, yeah. This is giving me um, that, like I said, somebody here had a choice. 
and it's giving me a plot twist here because normally an apple would be the healthy choice this this person did not choose the apple and in the beginning i was like okay they need to choose the healthier food but the healthier the the apple is poisonous someone doesn't want that anymore it's shiny it looks good and it's tempting that's what the apple represent someone doesn't want that anymore so they're saying, you know what, if I have to go with this, you know, burger here, that burger right now is better than me taking this particular apple. This apple is going to kill me. This apple is toxic. It's unhealthy. There's something in that apple that's going to mess me up. So it may not look like, like I said, but wow. Wow. That's amazing. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to leave your reading here. Um, I've gone, shoot, I'm at 30 minutes, but I still just want two more cards, two more, um, two more cards for you guys real quick. What's the revealed intention around this reading here? Yeah. Someone's heart is closed to love. Although they care, they're unable to give a deeper emotional commitment due to blockage. This person needs to heal from the past. So someone is definitely healing. Their heart may not be completely open right now. Um, someone could have like, I don't know, like could be heart issues though because I know I won't go into that but it says someone's heart is closed to love at this time they care but they're they're healing somebody's healing here it's either you or someone else all right and it's also saying that someone may want a, a non-traditional relationship all right so ask questions before committing to this person so there is commitment out here and I feel like it's going to be uh different than what what people usually um, consider a commitment. So maybe they don't. Um, maybe they don't go to the courthouse. Maybe they don't do do it the same the same way that other people do it. But something is non traditional. Yet it is still a commitment here. Okay. Yeah, but somebody needs to heal. Somebody's going through a healing process for sure. All right, one more here is um, the monology. What's the final message here for the fire signs this week? Some of you fire signs with the death card and the five of wands, you guys are going through a transformation and you're fighting against... Um, Maybe an old mindset here. This could be enemies. You could be fighting against within here to have this new beginning, this new transformation here. And it could be at times be, you know, seem like a lot for you. It could be a bit confusing here. But I feel like your your life is balancing out the way it should to get you to where you know to where you're going. You have the energy is gaining momentum and take time to breathe out so there's an energy that's getting stronger i feel like you're getting stronger i feel like your intuition is getting stronger and um you know just take time to breathe relax this week some of you are tired you know um from different things but just um take it slow here on fire signs don't be so defensive but i see you guys fighting for something that you really want to you're fighting being a bit stubborn in some areas and other areas you're fighting to get what you want so that part yes keep it going all right aries leo sagittarius this has been your reading if you feel like it resonates for you for this week let me know and i'll see you guys on the next one